Welcome to the 2016 Zanger Folkman Coaching Games. Today we're going to see four managers take on a tough coaching problem as they compete head-to-head -head and go for the gold. So let's introduce our four competitors. Give it up for Stan from Accounting. He runs the Accounts Receivable Team and enjoys Lumberjack Reality TV. I believe coaching a team is like making firewood. Chop them down and stack them back up. Mm -hmm. Next is Amy, head of her legal department and Yelp super reviewer. Whether critiquing restaurants or coaching, I can always spot flaws and make them public. Our third competitor comes all the way from HR and describes himself as an avid endorist. Meet Carlos. Confrontation is like an angry beehive. Best to avoid it at all costs. And last but not least, let's have a big hand for Michelle, a self-proclaimed coaching expert. I don't have any real experience, but I read every new coaching book that comes out. Every month, sometimes more. So let's get started with our first event. High dive for meaning. So here's the situation. One of your team members is constantly showing up late for work. What do you do? Let's see if our four managers can figure it out as they high dive for meaning. Ouch! Oh my, Stan never got past the facts on the surface. He has no idea what's really going on. Looks like Amy cleared the iceberg, but just barely. She uncovered the meaning, emotion, and energy around the event, which helps. But there's more going on under the surface, and she didn't get there. Now that's a beautiful dive for meaning. Carlos went much deeper to see the bigger picture and larger patterns. This gives him a greater insight into what's going on with his persistently laid employee. But is it enough? Can anyone go even deeper? Incredible! Michelle has done it! Ladies and gentlemen, a perfect dive for meaning that took her all the way to the underlying beliefs and assumptions. That's where gold medal coaches learn to truly understand what's really going on. It would have been easy to think my team member was always late because he didn't care about his job. But when I took the time to understand, I discovered he'd been working in the evenings to accommodate calls with our international partners. He loves his job. I could have really misread the situation and made things worse if I hadn't gone deep enough on my dive. And so after one event, here's our medal roundup. Michelle takes the gold, Carlos the silver, and Amy the bronze. Stay tuned next week as we go into a very tricky event, balancing across the leadership continuum. From all of us at Zanger Folkman, good night, everybody.